Dying Light 1 had three different leveling systems at launch. You had your survivor level, your agility level, and your power level. The way that you leveled up your survivor level was just by doing quests and gaining XP like in any other game. The way that you leveled up your agility was by doing parkour moves, and the way you leveled up your power, you guessed it, was by bonking people on the head. These three leveling systems have their own respective skill trees, and you spend agility XP to upgrade your agility skills. You spend your power XP to upgrade your power skills. So it's not just one type of XP and you choose where you spend it. Now in Dying Light 2, it's actually very similar. There's power levels again, there's agility levels again, and you upgrade those in the same ways. And once again, they both have their own skill trees. But now they've removed the survivor skill tree because you can unlock gadgets and skills through siding with different factions and main story decisions. However, they have introduced new items in the game called inhibitors, which you can redeem three at a time to upgrade either your health or your stamina. Regardless of which one you choose, it also boosts your immunity to the virus. 